Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trailmakers, and we are way up high in the high seas over the sea here because we're going to be doing some soaring, some gliding, hopefully, with a custom-made wingsuit making the wings out of sails. Now, a little while ago, I played with a wingsuit creation that I found on the workshop, but now I want to try to build my own wingsuit that I think should look pretty cool using the sails if I can get it to function properly. So let's just hop right into it and start building this thing. This, I think, this could be a logistical challenge for sure. I'm gonna use the diving bell as the head. However, the proportions of this are going to be determined by how big the sails are. So what I'm thinking is, I guess I'm gonna have to use the small, probably this sail. Cause what I'm thinking is, uh, if we're gonna have this thing look like a person that has limbs, and is flying with a wingsuit. We're gonna have the interesting task of trying to shape like the legs and the arms to these sails as wings. All right, so if I had to kind of guess where the wings or the sails in this case would be located in relation to the head and the body, this is what I'm kind of looking at here. So then I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but the arms would kind of be along this edge of these and then the the torso would come down through here and the legs would come out to here building on the angle like this and having the legs and arms look natural might be a little bit difficult and weird well let's see what we can pull off here full disclosure i've never done wingsuit jumping surprisingly oh no this is not going to work <laughs> I didn't realize that the hitbox of the sails, it is the entire rectangle, even in the dead space past the sail. So I can't build anywhere into this area to line the body like that. Okay, maybe, maybe I can fake it. All right, this is already turning into more of a logistical nightmare than I was expecting off the bat, but maybe that's kind of good enough to fake it. All right, so I think I built the arms in a pretty cool way. So I wanna be able to have the aesthetic of opening the wings of the wingsuit. So this will be the flying position, but uh, I want the arms to be able to kind of be down by the sides. But when I do that, as you can see, the wings kind of collide in the back. So I did this, uh, this little mechanism here. So I think I want to activate this with the button that also pulls the arm back. So I'm hoping it's going to lift that. Oh, look at that. It worked. So now they kind of fold behind and then we can go open. And then, you know, did the wings open or something. I don't know if this looks good or not. I feel like it looks pretty cool to be able to do that. I'm going to put this on 25 degrees instead of 30. There we go. I want the arms to look kind of natural, but standing here's the, the weird thing is that standing. I don't know if I can do this with standing. I really got to figure out how to make the leg parts work. All right. I've been working hard on the legs and the legs are really giving me a lot of trouble because it's a lot harder to try to overlap the legs. Right now I have the legs themselves separate from the sails because I have the legs able to open and close like this. So you can be standing up straight. The legs are nice and straight and then you spread the legs to spread the wings. But how do I spread the wings? And more importantly, how do I unspread the wings? How do I get these things to overlap each other? Because although you can open and close the sails in trail makers, it doesn't make the frame take up less space. And the lack of attachment points is really what's making this difficult. Because if I do this, now I can open and fold these uh, sails themselves, but I can't then lift one out of the way of the other sail. Unless I can. I think I may have just found the way to do it. So I'm going to move this down to here. So this is going to be attached in a weird spot right back here. But this now allows me to put a steering hinge right here that can then lift this sail up before this hinge turns it in. Oh no! Don't do it! I don't know why that happened. Maybe it was just a fluke. Maybe I can fix this. Okay, stay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's working now. Okay, I press number one. <gasps> oh! See, I could have just made this easy on myself by just not having this folding function because it's really pretty useless. I just wanted that extra sense of like human element to this thing rather than it just being a glider that has a humanoid shape. I want it to have like humanoid function as well. All right, well, here is prototype number one. These are the controls here. Uh, so hopefully that's gonna be enough 
to make this thing fly. Now, how am I gonna fly? Uh, well, it looks like, looks like this. I don't have any propulsion on this thing. No, 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 don't, don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit the thing. Don't hit the thing. I'm gonna hit the thing. Don't, don't die. Don't die. Hold on. All right, here we go. Here we go. Now go. Where's the, where's the wind? All right, the wind is in that direction. <laughs> Please catch the wind. Catch the, am I flying? Am I wingsuiting? Is this work? I am front heavy. That's a problem. I'm very, very front heavy, so I can't lift up. Go lift up. No. <laughs> All right, putting the head as a seat like that, I think it was a bad idea. Okay, so that was clearly a low tier success. That wasn't a complete failure. We kind of had functionality, but we just could not keep uh, a steady trajectory. So let's uh, let's try to change up what we're using for a seat here. Let's put a seat like this right in the belly. We're going to replace this head with a brand new head. Okay, here's the new wingsuit face. Oh, this thing's hilarious now. All right, let's see if this thing actually uh, has a better center of mass now and can actually fly. All right, here we go. Let's hope for the bad. Okay, no, oh, oh, no, we're fixed. We're, I think we're fixed. Please tell me that we're actually fixed. Okay. Oh, we still can't fly straight. I need there to be a good uh, center of lift. And right now, we are definitely front heavy. We're not gliding very well. We're just falling with style right now. Man, this is harder than I thought it was. Well, we're going into the wind right now, too. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. All right, we're gonna give Wingsuit Buster a little bit of a boost here. I'm gonna attach some mini thrusters to the bottom of his feet that are gonna be separately activated. And what I'm hoping that this is gonna allow is uh, I'm gonna actually put some of the center of mass to the back. So maybe I won't nosedive as much because these things, these things have some weight to them in comparison to everything else. And hopefully these are gonna give us the added ability to be able to give ourselves a little bit of a boost in the air if we need it for whatever reason. All right, well, let's see what happens. Hey, whoa, 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 Buster, Buster, stop it. Okay. Well, he's going on his own apparently. He's really determined to practice this. Oh my goodness, that does not look healthy. He's, he's, he's not following that fast though. He's a firework. All right, you gotta come back now, Buster. Oh boy, here we go. No, that doesn't look right. All right, Buster, let's do this for real this time. No! All right, this is apparently not the most stable creation, but I put it into one of my transform boxes. Oh, here we go, here we go. That's good, that's good. All right, come on. Come on. There we go. Pull up. Pull up. Yes. Now glide. Why do you nosedive so much? There's a lot more lift in the back. That's why. Those are bigger sails. Hmm. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to think about that. But I'm surprised that the roll doesn't really work that well. Like, look, I, in order to fly level, I have to arch my back a lot, which is not good. And I'm not even really gliding that well forwards. All right, so Buster's, Wingsuit Buster still has a lot of work ahead of him. A lot of fine tuning to go here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and give Buster some hair He's got, he's got kind of like, you know, when, when you're balding completely on the front and it's just growing in the back. Yeah, that's, that's what Buster has going on back here now. Hopefully that's gonna let him get some more lift. See, it's all about, it's all about the, the hair. The hair is where you get your lift from. Buster, bu this is a vertical wall, Buster. So what I've done, as you can see for the hands, I've added some small tail fins. And it looks like the ha the hair is not working very well to keep his head up. How do we get more lift in the front without drastically changing and ruining the aesthetic of humanoid Buster here? This is starting to feel better though. I don't know yet. I really, it's really hard to tell. Okay, so the current solution that I'm working on right now is uh, changing this to this. So I'm gonna be making the front sails the same size as the leg sails. So we should have a lot more lift in the front now and we can still kind of fold up even though it's really a pointless endeavor. I don't know why I added that in. Let's see if this is any better. Come on, Buster, make me proud. That's not making me proud. That's not, you're not making me proud, right? Now. That is the opposite of proud. I am very disappointed. That's not how that wing's supposed to be. This is actually, this is all right. There's a little bit of a, 
little bit of a collision. Like they go really, those sails go really, really close there. But look, oh, this looks so good when they catch the wind like that. Wait, what's happening right now? Am I going, I'm going directly into the wind. How do I keep orienting into the wind? Okay. You know what? Maybe I should be testing this out in a neutral map where the wind isn't fighting me the whole time. Let's take Buster to a map without wind and see if we can just glide in still air. Besides, who in their right mind would go wingsuit jumping in windy locations over a rainy vortex like this? I mean, Buster, of course, but let's talk some sense into him. Okay, wingsuit Buster, this is your chance now. Make me proud. The best conditions possible. Let's see some gliding. Okay. Oh, he wants to dive so bad. He really wants to dive. Like, but look, he can he can level off pretty well. This isn't this isn't really that bad for a wingsuit. And I have I'm using no thrust right now, no power. This is just falling, gliding. Let's see if we can land him, nice and gentle. Come on. Oh no, <laughs> that was not nice and gentle. I think if your top half of your body separates from the bottom half of your body when you land, you probably could have done better on the landing. All right, I'm feeling good about this one. No, Buster, no. Okay, here we go. Here we go, look at that. That looks beautiful. This looks really, really nice. All right. Oh yeah, that's not bad. This isn't bad at all. I still am nose heavy, or I nose down when I, uh, glide. But this is feeling way more balanced than it was. Okay, let's try a good landing here. This is looking really legit right now. Eh. I mean, even real wingsuit people can't do that. You gotta have a parachute when you're, when you're wingsuit jumping. But I could go up, and then I could expand. Look at that, that would be cool. That's kind of pointless. You know, I'm gonna get rid of that function. It is such a pointless function. This all might become much more stable without that function. Whoa, look at how much better this is now. It was just, for some reason, those steering hinges really affected the uh, center of lift. This feels the best versions. I think this is the best version so far, as far as pure gliding goes. Look at how good this looks. This is feeling really nice. And then we also have a lot more thrust, so look at how fast we could go. We can gain altitude if we want. This is great! We have a... a wingsuit buster now. I think this is maybe optimal version. Possibly. All right, I think the last improvement I can make to Buster is uh, he needs a little bit of vertical stability. He needs this to prevent his legs from swaying back and forth and keep him more on a straight trajectory towards wherever his head is facing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these tail fins like this and hope that they don't interfere with anything. That's looking pretty good. All right, let's see what happens when we start gliding now. I'm gonna try to guide myself. You see those support beams down, down on that ramp? I'm gonna try to guide myself to the bottom middle support beam and glide right through it. I might need to boost myself a little bit more on the way there. I don't know if I can cover that distance. All right, that should be enough. We'll see what happens. I'm coming in from kind of a high angle. This might not work that well. All right, stunt buster. Stunt wingsuit, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna have to really pull up as I come through here. Come on, pull up, pull up, pull up. Hey, that worked great. Now let's come down and land right, like, right in that landing area, right at the checkpoint. Are right, you ready for this landing, though? Gonna use some boost to help me here. Ready, and... Eh, stand up! Stand up, Buster! Stand up! Okay, no, it's fine. You're, you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. So yeah, Buster can now take off from the ground. Check this out. He can fly around like he was Iron Man. And when needed, he can just glide very gracefully through the air as if he's uh, an actual wingsuit base jumper. All right, well, let me know what you guys think of Wingsuit Buster. I'm actually pretty proud of him. I think he functions really, really well. Let me know if you have any other suggestions, stuff that you'd like to see experiments with sales or other aspects of the game. Doesn't have to be sales anymore. It could be anything at this point. So I'll be looking in the comments for that. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff that you can find on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.